It's not a day in my life. Knows my dogs, they by my side. Yeah, we gon' ride till we die, die, die. We gon' run, no, we gon' hide. I can never switch, it's not a day in my life. It's not in my dogs, they by my side. Yeah, we gon' ride till we die, die, die. Honey, I dash, dash, got it on, smash, smash, foot on the gas, I will not crash, uh-uh. they will not stop me, stop me. tenfold, copy, copy, hands on, watch me, watch me. celebrate, I'm cocky. I'm cocky, I do my dance, dance. jump in the stands, dance. no man, no man, uh-huh. I'll deal with the hands, thought he could guard me, I ruin they plans, I do what I want, they do what they can, got it on, smash, smash. foot on the gas, I will not crash, smash. honey, y'all, dash, dash. honey, y'all, They can't catch up cause they lacking the stamina Way too advanced to be playing with amateurs Stay on attack when I tackle like damager They react and play it back on the camera Hot boy, just consider me flammable Sure shot, I got all the intangibles Need a leash, I'm a beast, I'm an animal Heat the competition up like a Hannibal Know the game like I wrote up the manual I do weekly what you do on the annual MVP, that decision unanimous Hit dies, I don't think they can handle this Battlefield, it's just me and my warriors Guaranteed we emerging victorious Years, blood, sweat, tears, it's glorious I remember when they all was adoring us Dash, got it on, smash Foot on the gas, I will not crash they will not stop me tempo copy It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. The two teams emerging from their respective tunnels a minute ago to the approval of this Baltimore crowd. They're all set as their Ravens will match up with the Los Angeles Chargers. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Six yards. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle like set call. Big play for him. But don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. And nobody leaked. Big play. And some room to maneuver. Touchdown. Melvin Gordon, 52 yards, as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms, because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 26. And the former Heisman winner, this is Mark Ingram. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. Get 
And now the Chargers are going to look up here and signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. And this time, Jackson will throw it. Dancing to his left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down. And you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. And boy, down a touchdown already, but they're going to line up to go for it on their side of the field. They'll indeed go for it with Jackson. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive game. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. Throwing again on second down. Jackson steps away to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Now Jackson on first down. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Second and ten now from the 27. To throw is Jackson. To throw again. This one complete to Ingram. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. Okay, some people call it the shuffle pass. Some people call it a shovel pass, but this worked really well. And it's hard to do in the NFL because of the big bodies that tend to clog up the middle of the field. But the execution was excellent there. Able to get it done and get upfield for big yardage. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. You better be afraid of me. Looking to throw on second down. Jackson forced out to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. They'll look to run with Ingram. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Taking it in from a yard out. As they are now on the board here in the first half. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. Here we go. 
The Charger drive about to get going. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tummy. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. From the 29, Taylor. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Now Gordon on first down. Patrick on Wasor up to make the tackle. Second and nine, Taylor, he's airing it out for Williams. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now it's Taylor. And it's complete. Henry, a well-executed 22-yard gain. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. On second down now, it's Gordon. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. Fans, a reminder, I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime previews. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did you okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey. Uh, you know, writing down your ad -libs. If you print it, I'm going to read it. I'm Brandon Garner. Here's Taylor to throw. And that is incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. No move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Rivers to throw for it on fourth. And my goodness, this is incomplete. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. They'll run with Ingram here to begin the drive. 
And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. From the 30 on second down, Jackson. Blitz coming and down he goes. That's Thomas Davis on the sack. Came in the league way back in 2005. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. On third down, Jackson is going to go for a big play downfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. Pulled in at the 24. The Charger drive about to get going. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit from the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now Taylor on first down. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Allen, the intended receiver. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The drive starting play, a good one. Give them 19. Now this time he'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Check three, check three, check three. Hey, switch gears, go. I got you, I got you. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson being chased out left. Looking left sideline incomplete. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. That's fielded in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. 
What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Chargers. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. And this is where you need the quarterback to morph into being a running back. The ball can't be away from his body. It can't be loose. It can't be held like he's going to throw it. Tuck it away. Take care of it because he's going to run through a lot of traffic. And if he doesn't take care of it, we're going to see less design runs like that. First down, Gordon. And able to work his way down to the 16. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. You, you, you. Shit, she was kidding. This is Gordon as they go to him again. It's a first down and more for Gordon. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Melvin Gordon, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers have taken the lead. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. So you can have an empty possession, punt the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. From the gun, Jackson. They'll roll him out right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Here we go on fourth down with Jackson. Trying for Brown and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. Probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. Their 
The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that. And now on the pitch, the ball's loose. And picked up by the Chargers. And they have the football that will take over at the 24-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. Now a 10th carry for Melvin Gordon. And it's a first down and more for Gordon. And finally wrestled down at the 8-yard line. That one good for 17 yards. Another brother better, you will never find. I've been in my bag like groceries. Competition shouldn't take shots, take notes, please. Reporting live from the winner's side. Ready, try, keep a different vibe. Is you down the ride, down the tide. You will never know, you ain't never tried. Work it out, hit the gym, hit the field. Hey, yo, I need that. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard on the job, you can see that. On my head is real good, we don't need your feedback. They clear the way with my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. Yeah, beats, leave it in the streets. Case on the news. What I do? Lace up my shoes, chase the rings. 